going on guys in today's video we're going to be talking about how we are scaling b2b service providers biz op and info products past two hundred fifty thousand dollars per month by keeping the ceo from making decisions and removing them from in the business okay and we're going to be going over the uh, protocol and infrastructure used to 10x ceo's monthly income with getting them you know getting them to work less okay so we'll be going over sales marketing fulfillment uh, systems and all that stuff Okay. And keep in mind, 95% of founders don't even usually watch such breakdowns that you're about to watch right now. And that's why what I'm about to share with you never actually works for them. Okay. And because they think they're too good to learn something new. Right. And uh, if you're not yet clearing, you know, over a quarter, um, a million a month in, in uh, gross revenue and taking home over $100,000 in profit every single month, knowing damn well there's people in the same vehicle as you generating not just 100K per month, but over 500,000 to a million in net take home income every single month. Okay, you're probably using the same excuses to rationalize it like this. My lead quality is pretty shit. My prospects can't afford my price point, or I can't find a better closer, or I don't wanna grow a business and deal with all the stress that comes with you know running a seven day figure business, or I need more sales calls, or I can't afford to spend money on marketing as I'm going to be less profitable. Right? Or I just want to make sure I get, you know, my clients get results before I scale or my competition is making more because they have a better audience or, you know, better following or whatever the case may be. Right. Every founder that we've helped scale their business past one hundred thousand dollars per month had the same excuses. OK. And a lot more even. Right. And so here's just a month of cash collect in one of my partner's business. And uh, we'll go over all the businesses that we've you know, implemented this uh, infrastructure into. And here's some examples right here. So we've taken this business from 30 K per month past 500,000 in cash collected in 14 months following the same process that I'm about to share with you. Okay. And here's a SaaS niche. Here's a manufacturer niche. And then the SaaS niche, for example, uh, 10 K uh, paid in full uh, in a single day. And then uh, that was a setup fee. And then it's 3.5K per month for 12 months. So a total deal of $52,000 uh, per year. And then a manufacturing needs. So this is a 25K package. So 25K PIF and then $10,000 a month retainers. And then uh, we've also taken this business from 10K a month to 103.5K per month in two and a half months. And as you can see right here, revenue generated uh, when they first joined the program, uh, made their first 10K month. And then second, uh, second month and a half, after they joined, uh, made the first 100K per month using using a growth team. Okay, and so as you guys can see right here, and then we took this one from 35 to 104K in uh, 30 days, uh, 28K in two days, 18K cash collected. You guys can pause the video and read some of these. Um, 10K paid in full, 10% rev share, 25K PIF, uh, from 10K per month to a $31,000 uh, cash collected in a day in, in the e-com niche. And uh, in order for me to walk you through how we're going to be able to scale so fast, I'll share the following. Okay. Number one, the importance of viewing your business as a system and focusing on constraints and bottlenecks. Okay. And number two is the three step scaling protocol that we walk every client through in order to scale them past a hundred thousand to two hundred fifty thousand dollars per month. Okay. And number three, how you can implement it in the next four weeks and exponentially grow your income without being needed in the day to day operations, you know, and so you can actually ideally, you know, start experiencing true uh, freedom. Okay. Because we all start a business wanting freedom and then we realize it's a lot more work than any nine to five we could have ever worked, but that's not the case when you set up the right systems. Okay. And so, number one, you're only as great as your weakest link. Okay. And so, your, your, your business, your system performance is based on its weakest link or constraint or bottleneck. Okay. So it's about putting, you know, having input in that, whether it be that be time, energy, or capital into a system to get the uh, desired output that you're looking for. And so five of the things to break down a system could be like offer, lead flow, appointment flow, deal flow. So like closing deals and uh, delivery mechanisms or just your fulfillment overall. And every company that we audit is struggling to grow, doesn't understand this, and it leads to them blaming all their growth problems or lack of growth to, to, to one thing. And most of the time, it's not even the right bottleneck, right? And there's usually one constraint in your business that's holding your business back dramatically more than all the other ones. Um, and usually you don't know what it is, okay? And we prefer to look at the whole system and figure out the current throughput, so the productivity that each component of the system can create. And we don't start claiming, you know, that the business just needs more sales calls like every other gross expert out there claims that's just trying to media buy for you. That's usually not the, the biggest bottleneck, right? All right, so this is what the perfect business looks like versus your business's current state. So it's the ultimate gap. Um, the perfect business is all the way to the right. 
right here. So it's achieved, you know, basically a, a maximum efficiency uh, where you put 100 units of energy, time and capital, and it's all invested at the very top to see your offer. And it makes it all the way down to the end, your delivery mechanism, right? And your business probably looks a little bit more like the one over here on the far left. Uh, it has the worst efficiency, only a tiny percent of effort, time and, you know, money invested to grow. It makes it through, uh, which is, you know, why you, the more you invest to grow it, the less money you actually make over time. OK, and our job is to get you as close as possible to, you know, the, the, the one right over here where you're at uh, maximum efficiency. But just to clarify, it is it's, it's impossible to achieve for the perfect state for 100 percent efficiency to have 100 people see uh, your offer and 100 clients get delivered for this. That's unrealistic. OK, so uh, we actually want to shoot for something more right here where we elevate your current constraints and get to uh, these types of numbers. OK, um, and here's our three step scaling protocol. Let me zoom in on this real quick. So we got uh, zero to current situation and from current situation to quarter of a million a month and beyond. Uh, basically, we go from, you know, margins or you have a, a commoditized offer. You have a low LTV. You know, you're making below ten thousand dollars per client. You have a low cash collection rate. Uh, system and process wise, you have an inefficient lead gen infrastructure, right? You have an inefficient sales process. You have lack of systems, which include, you know, leads, uh, appointments, sales, etc. And you have lack of metrics and KPIs, compensation, all that stuff, right? Uh, you also have a uh, lack of talent, right? You have no A player setters, you have no A, a player closers, and you have no systems integrators, right? And we take you from your current situation to your desired situation from giving you uh, better margins so you have a unique mechanism that you sell. OK, you have a high LTV where you make 10 to 20, 30, 10 to 30 K plus per uh, client. Right. Over its lifetime span. Right. You have a high cash collection rate. Right. You have good systems and processes. Uh, five million a year legion infrastructures, five million a year sales processes, five million a year sales systems and five million a year uh, standard OKRs and KPIs. Right. And then you also have good talent. You have a six figure setter or setters and you have seven figure closer or closers and seven figure uh, systems integrators, okay? And this is how you get to 250K uh, a month and beyond, right? And uh, number one, profitability. So while everyone roads towards the game of generating more leads and calls for their business, uh, we focus on making sure that we are in the right vehicle, selling the right thing to the right market at the right price, okay? So if we don't align you know, everything, create a highly profitable front end offer, we end up like everyone else who is struggling with the rising cost of leads, Right. So for however much you're spending to acquire clients, right, all your rising cost of sales calls and all that stuff. Right. And so to solve this, we focus on creating a unique mechanism which allows us to increase LTV. Right. As a, the offer isn't a commodity anymore. And we also help our clients increase the average cash collected on the front end through our financing partners, which I'll get into all this here in a second. Okay. And number two is we develop and implement a new sales process and systems. And so for a, you know, it's impossible to scale a business past 5 million per year with the same sales process and systems that generate, you know, 500 K per year. Right. And so understanding this, we have an internal team that comes in our clients companies to, you know, one design a new sales process to implement our 5 million per year lead uh, legion infrastructure and three, implement the five million a year sales infrastructure and playbook. And four, you know, establish objectives and key results or OK, OKRs, and also identify KPIs and develop metrics required to achieving the ultimate goal of scaling past, you know, 250 to $500,000 per month and beyond. OK, and so the last step is our fractional sales, which is done for you. OK, so every CEO who has yet to scale past a million profit per year hasn't learned this lesson even if the nine figure and billion dollar entrepreneurs keep sharing the secret. Okay. The key to growing a business is people, right? And man, be building and managing a sales team is the most boring and annoying thing for most founders, primarily because it's not leveraged, right? You actually have to spend time and you have to spend a lot of it, right? To make everything uh, work properly, right? Or perfectly. Um, and the moment you stop doing it, right? Is the moment everything falls apart. So understanding this, we built a small team of highly skilled talent, uh, including setters, closers, and system integrators. And our client gets to leverage this team to install new systems, set all of their leads into appointments, and close all of their deals without them having to spend a single second managing their sales team. Okay. And so lack of specialized talent is the biggest reason you're not able to dominate your industry. And you probably know this already, right? 
Uh, but most people would rather focus on that uh, newest shiny tactic that these people keep throwing around on ads to try and sell people stuff. Okay, and so how can you implement this in your business? So there's three phases, right? Phase one is clarity. So uh, we go over audit and strategic consulting. So we look at your offer economics, we look at your lead flow, right? We look at your appointment setting systems, we look at your closing systems and, and all your assets, and we uh, make an action plan so we can implement all this within two to four weeks, right? And so phase two is uh, building and releasing new infrastructures. So we look at your market, your value proposition, your pricing uh, for lead flow, you know, of your process, your systems, and then your talent if you need. So like if you have a good media buyer, if you don't have a good media buyer, uh, appointment setting, process systems, and then fractional talent. So we'll actually install A player setters in your business and A player closes in your business and actually manage them for you. So you don't have to do that and spend, you know, the 20, 30 hours a week that, uh, is required to actually manage the sales team effectively, right? And like I said, we, we, we make an action plan to do this all in two or four weeks. And then we move into phase three, which is optimization and fractional sales, okay? And so this is where you now have a new lead gen infrastructure, okay? You have a new appointment setting infrastructure and you have a new sales closing infrastructure, okay? And so what we do is we, we focus on a weekly basis and we focus and uh, data collect and basically, long story short, it's like a feedback loop. So if it's in KPIs, if it's hitting KPIs that we set to get to that quarter million or 500K a month, if it's hitting KPIs, if the answer is yes, then we do more of that, right? So for uh, uh, lead flow, for example, that just might be you know putting more into ads or something like that. And if it's not within KPI, then we'll do a weekly optimization plan and then reevaluate the system for your specific offer and industry. And then we'll we'll try to get back into KPI and then get to the where it is hitting KPI and then we'll we'll scale that up. Okay. So it's just a feedback loop of constant testing uh, for the marketing, uh, setting, and closing. And so the same thing over here. So new appointment setting infrastructure. So for hitting K, so if the setters are hitting KPIs, we're hitting all the metrics that we want to hit to get to your monthly uh, revenue goals. And then same thing with the closers, how much cash we're collecting, uh, all this type of stuff. Um, so close rate, cash collect rate, all this type of stuff. I'll, I'll go over the metrics here in a second, but um, this is kind of how we would operate on uh, uh, a short going basis where we implement the systems and then an ongoing basis to uh, get all these systems in, in, into KPIs. Okay. And so if you believe that what we've just covered is the reason why you can't scale your business, I'd like to make you a special offer. So let me and my team audit your entire business, your offer, your sales process, et cetera, on a one-on-one -on -one call and uncover the main constraints you have in your business, right? So phase one, we'll, like I said, we'll go over to clarity, uh, we'll audit and do a strategic consulting call, right? So we'll go over your offer and economics, we'll go over your lead flow, we'll go over your appointment setting, we'll go over your closing, and uh, we can even go over an action plan of implementing all this within two to four weeks, right? And so here's the metrics uh, that, that, we, that we really focus on, okay? So ticket price, so how much you're charging, right? Um, number of leads you're getting per month, the number of engaged leads, right? Number of response rate, number of appointments, number of uh, book calls, like what's the booking rate, right? How many show up, so how many show up calls, how many show, what's the show up rate, the percentage, what's the number of closed deals, what's the total closing rate, what's the total cash collection rate, um, or total cash collected, sorry, and then the collection rate, and then what's the average cash collect per deal, and then total revenue that you're doing a month. And so we'll actually go over all these metrics and then how we can just uh, tweak these metrics from you know increasing your booking rate, increasing your show rate, increasing your, your close rate, increasing your cash collect rate, and these metrics, increasing these percentages, it's what's gonna grow your business uh, insanely. And so we'll go over all of what your current metrics are in your business on this call, and then we'll go over how we can tweak them and improve them. And uh, like, I, like I said up here, uh, get more, uh, get as close to this as we possibly can to where we improve the show rate, improve the, improve the close rate and improve the delivery mechanism, like all this stuff. Um, this is how we'll, this is how we'll do that. These are the actual metrics that we calculate. Okay. And we have a, we have an in-house calculator that we use that you, you can uh, use and get access to as well. So, um, number two, after we, uh, after the audit, we'll actually walk you through a personalized action plan of what we would actually do to remove all the bottlenecks. And uh, obviously I can't tell you what your bottlenecks are right now. We'll have to do that on a call because I can't give a one size shoe fits all. Every business is different and every business needs something uh, different. Every business has different constraints. So that's why it needs to be a one-on-one -on -one call to really dive into your processes and uh, your, your, your metrics, right? 
And so we'll do all that. Okay, and then number three, just a quick little bonus. So we'll actually even show you on a more tactical level what we would implement in your business to keep you from becoming a commodity, struggling with lead flow appointments or, or closing deals, as you can see here. And uh, we, have a, we have a whole sheet. Uh, let me just click on that real quick. So we can go over all the processes, uh, offers, uh, systems, the sales, onboarding and fulfillment processes, appointment booking, literally everything. Uh, we, can, we, we can do this on the call. But um, that's just a quick little overview of it all. Okay, guys, so here's the application steps and requirements. So first off, just click on apply below or above this video and uh, pick a time to speak with me or another advisor. Two, as soon as you apply, my team will be going through your current sales process before our call. So we'll actually be uh, funnel hacking you guys to uh, see how your, your sales team handles all your leads, uh, checking your funnels, checking your VSLs, literally your entire uh, from, from new lead to sales call. Uh, what we'll be we'll be uh, funnel hacking all of that so we'll be able to see from uh, a consumer standpoint what your guys's current sales process looks like and uh, number three if you don't meet the following requirements okay our system will automatically cancel your application and call so all you have to do to qualify is make over twenty thousand dollars a month uh, be a consultant coach or info product owner or c you know sell a high ticket product or biz op or investment offer or business in a box etc and the offer just needs to be something that can scale fast and with the right people uh, and processes and systems, okay? And it's important to note that we actually do have limited bandwidth. So uh, one, we can only partner with five companies at a time. We're actually looking to find our fifth partner and uh, close onboarding for this quarter. Uh, and two, we uh, can only audit 10 businesses per month. Therefore, it might be possible that we might not be able to actually do a, a thorough audit if you apply late. And three, you know, we've given ourselves another 14 days to find the next partner after this period. So we'll shut down this application page uh, after uh, we're not accepting any people anymore. But if you're watching this video and you saw an active ad, then we're still actively looking for someone. But the reason we, we have limited bandwidth is obviously I don't have a thousand employees. We have a, we only have a certain, uh, we have a lean, mean team of uh, uh, system integrators, media buyers that are actually really good at what they do. And so we don't have a, we don't have a hundred of those people. So we can't work with everybody. Um, we, we do pick specific business to work with. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just book the call and, uh, yep, see you guys later. Peace.